I'm sure you've heard of hoverboards, electric scooters, electric bikes, and so on and so forth. But have you ever heard of hover shoes? Because this one right here is new to me. It's the first time I've ever seen this and I'm kind of excited and a bit nervous to try this thing out. From Guy Roar, we actually have some hover shoes, the S300 series. And I mean, just looking at these, I'm not sure if I can actually do this, but we'll see. Cause usually practice makes perfect and with practice I'll be able to do this. So if you're a little bit confused as I was, these are basically two independent hoverboards, one for each foot, and you balance on both of them and have a good time. I know, it sounds crazy, right? Being that there are two hover shoes, they're independent of each other. They each have a 50 watt hour battery that's good for up to 40 minutes of ride time with a 250 watt motor. Traveling up to six and a half miles per hour and they take about three hours to fully charge. They can safely support riders up to 220 pounds in weight. They have all the fun stuff like LED lights and whatnot, but I mean, I'm just kind of curious if I'll be able to ride this thing, especially on my first try. I mean, if I could do it on my first try, that'd be great, but I'm not holding my breath here. Place your bets now if you want to. Inside the box, we actually have a little fancy looking letter from Guy Roar, and it says, congratulations to become a member of the Guy Roar family. Here is another fabulous year. Hope your day is filled with love and laughter, etc., etc. You guys can pause this and read it for yourself if you like to. That's very nice to see. This company cares about me. We also have a user manual, a dual charging cable so you can charge both at the same time. So this is actually pretty cool. It looks like it came with, I guess I could call these kind of like training wheels of sorts because you can actually use this to connect both shoes together so you can use it like a standard hoverboard so you can get the hang of things before you separate them and go on your merry way. That's very nice to see because I'll probably definitely be needing this. And last but not least inside of the box, we have both of the hover shoes in. Looks like we have the blue model here. They also come in gray. And I mean, these are pretty wild. So here they are. You can see them compared to my hand. They are a good size, so you'll definitely be able to fit your feet on them no matter how big your feet are, unless, unless maybe your shack. Although, as long as you can balance, I don't see a problem. Then again, he probably weighs more than 220 pounds anyway, so this, it doesn't matter at all. So we have a nice all black design along with some blue accents here. We see the LED lights are gonna be shining on through once they're powered on. Down on the bottom, we have the three and a half inch rubber wheels, feeling good, looking very grippy, like we're gonna have some traction. Now the shoes actually each have a carrying strap on them so you can easily carry them around. They weigh about 7.7 .7 pounds each, so they're not too bad. They are a bit on the heavy side though if you're gonna be carrying this around for a long period of time. Now over on this side, we have the power button along with a rubber seal over the charging port to keep water out. Because these are IP65 dust and water resistant, so they should be able to withstand the elements if it starts to rain or something. And then over on the opposite side, the side with the handle, we actually have another plug here. You can pop that out. And this is where you're going to basically attach the metal bar in the middle if you want to pair them together because you're not sure of yourself riding each one separately. So let's actually take a look at how easy it is to actually put them together if you want to do it and then take it off. You know? So we're actually going to start by taking the two smaller chunks of metal here, screw it into place. Oh yeah, it did come with the little wrench here. So you're actually going to need the wrench if you want to get this putting completely. We're not gonna do it right now because I'm actually gonna try this without it. Next, you're gonna take the bigger one and get it screwed into the actual metal pole. Then you're gonna pull this part back as so, put it right on here, and then put it on there and it locks right into place. Do the same thing on the other side. And just like that, they're paired together and you effectively have a full-size hoverboard now. But the cool thing is, whenever you want, you can take this off and use them by yourself. So that's pretty cool. Let's actually get these powered on now and see what happens. Whoa, okay, this one's on, it's lighting up. This one's on, it's lighting up. As you can see, they are self-balancing even with nobody on it, so that's very cool. As you can see, they're sticking together because of the rod in the middle. Science, right? So this is cool. So let's see. Oh, it's very, very responsive. It, that's cool. Even though I'm leaning, it does stay flat. Very nice. Let me turn these off real quick. Okay, very loud beep, so you definitely know what's happening. Let me take them apart. And now that they're both separated, let's power them back on. Get them balanced. That's amazing. Hold on, come back this way. So they are perfectly balanced by their self too. Wow, well, they pick up speed very fast. So, I mean, things are looking very promising. 
I feel like I'd actually be able to do this, but as you can see, they go differently. So if you have them on two different feet, you got to make sure you're in control of both of them. But things are looking promising. They're very sturdy, even right here on this desk with my hand. So I can't wait to go try these out. So without further ado, let's head outside, put these things to the test, and hopefully I'm able to ride them like this, because that'd be insane. All right, guys, moment of truth. Will I be able to ride the hover shoes? I'm a little bit concerned I'm not gonna be able to do it, but the good news is we have that bar just in case I can't and just fingers crossed I don't die. So we got them here, carrying straps make it very easy to carry. And I mean, let's, let's get started. So get it powered on. It's already balancing itself and there's a ghost on it. So I don't know if there's a certain way you're supposed to go. I guess it doesn't really matter, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Man, this is harder than a hoverboard. <laughs> I don't know, guys. This thing is very responsive. I just got to find my balance. Be in the middle. Okay. Okay, this is hard. I got some balance. This is hard. I don't know how you do this. Like they're actually two completely separate units here. Like, it's like learning how to walk. Plus my legs are going apart. How do I get closer? Okay, come closer. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. I don't think I could do it. <sighs> okay. I mean, practice makes perfect, right? Okay, right now, going straight, it feels like a hoverboard. Whoa. Hit rocks. It's probably not the best spot to do it, and there's rocks everywhere. Man. I feel like this would be a little easier if it was like roller skates where they're actually attached to your feet. Okay, let me just get off it. <laughs> okay. So I was able to do it, barely. So I'm gonna actually put the rod in there and hopefully it'll train me to actually use these. Let's get this screwed into place. I think this is gonna be the way I'm gonna be riding this forever with the rod because there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this separately. Place the rod on, lock it into place, very secure. Got them locked together. We effectively have a hoverboard here and it's freaking out. So let me put it back on the ground. So I should be able to do this because it's basically a hoverboard at this point. As you can see, they're connected together. This thing is fast. <laughs> it's crazy. It's so much easier like this. It just feels like an actual hoverboard. I could spin around and everything. There's a lot of rocks here though, so it's still dangerous. Well, look at this, I could actually do it. That's insane though. I wonder if I'll be able to ever use this without the rod. It just feels impossible to me. But with it, see, I could spin around in circles. I can go backwards. I can go forward. <laughs> Man, I wonder if somebody could actually do this like super professionally. I mean, practice makes perfect and all, but it just seems hard. I mean, personally, I'd rather just have it connected all the time. And this is somewhat easier to carry around than a hoverboard, because you can just carry it by the straps or carry it by the rod. So using this instead of a hoverboard is actually probably a smarter solution. Plus you have the option to separate them if you really want to. But I don't know. Got to practice a lot to master this one. I mean, to be fair though, when I first rode a hoverboard, I could barely do it. When I first rode an electric skateboard, I could barely do it. But now I'm pretty much mastering all those with the exception of the skateboard. I'm still amateur hour on that. But you know, regular hoverboards, easy to do once you master it. And this is basically a hoverboard. Now it goes, wee, whoa. <laughs> but as you can see, it's easy to do when they're connected. I'm at a loss for words here because I don't think I'll ever be able to do it. But this is a very solid product. It works very well. It's very solid. It balances itself without anything on it very well. It's amazing. And it works very easily if you know how to ride a hoverboard, if you have the metal rod in the middle. Now without it, 
I guess it depends on how much practice you put into it and if you can do it. Maybe if you strap it onto your feet, it'd be a little easier, but I don't know. I feel like that might be a little dangerous in case they separate and then your legs like flick because you're stuck on it. Because if without it, you can just jump off. But if you're strapped onto it, you're stuck on it. But putting them together like this, I like it. I mean, I can step off and now I can just head to the store and go get my groceries, head back outside, get it to find its balance again, go back on it and head home with all my groceries, just like so. Even at night, because these lights are bright and they look so awesome. So if you wanna pick one of these up, the link's down below. Let me know if you actually have one of these and if you're able to master it without the rod in the middle, because I'm actually very curious if anyone can do it professionally, because it seems so complicated and so hard, I don't think I'll ever be able to do it. But it's fun, especially when it's together, because I could actually do it. Yeah, buddy. Okay.